Swiss government may take action to protect the status of cash in the country. A popular initiative to get cash's status enshrined in the constitution has until August next year to get 100,000 signatures, or 1.2% of the population, to push through a referendum on the issue of protecting notes and coins. However, the Federal Council of Switzerland, the seven members serving as the collective head of state and government, put out a statement acknowledging the importance for the economy and society of the role played by cash. The changes that the Federal Council envisage would see access to cash enshrined in the Swiss constitution. Once king, using cash has been on the slide in recent years. Back in 2017, over 70% of transactions in Switzerland were made using banknotes and coins. By 2020, that had gone down to closer to 40%. The Swiss National Bank, which carried out the research, said that cash is now mainly used for transactions under 20 francs. It's around $23. For everything else, it's debit cards, credit cards, and increasingly mobile phone payments. Apps. I use a little less, but it's still king. <laughs> yeah, I am using the twin. Uh, it is easy for me because sometimes I ask someone of my friend, then I, I can transfer very fast uh, with twin application. So we are using um, less and less cash because we use Apple Pay in um, our cars. Yes. It's easier and uh, faster to use. Yep, and uh, I do think cash is just a thing for tips and uh, it's becoming less and less used, but it's pretty nice to be able to do some transfers under the radar. The cash is uh, only for a little market, or, but not uh, all the day. I have probably uh, 10 francs in, in my, yes, it's uh, only, uh, only card. I think it's best secure. Those over the age of 55 and those from lower income households still use more cash than the average Swiss citizen. But while Switzerland looks to protect the status of cash with the increase of mobile phone payment applications, that protection may come just as fewer people than ever are using it on a daily basis. Peter Oliver, CGTN, Geneva, Switzerland.